I've been talking a lot about the modern communicator, really focused on how the modern communicator can raise awareness, change opinion, create preference, and most of all, advocacy. And in public relations, we are taught naturally, and we have many skills that allow us to what I call think. Think before you communicate. Think stands for timing, heart, independence, new navigation, and knowledge. And each part of the think model is really important. It doesn't matter when you learned public relations and communications. Timing is critical. Understanding the market, what's going on in the news. Having a heart relates to that understanding of who you're trying to talk to. Independence is not groupthink. Uh, we want to make sure that we are listening out there, hearing the perspective and formulating what makes sense for our brands as well as our audiences. New navigation, obviously, is all of this wonder, wonderful social and mobile technologies. And knowledge, that part is all about the data, all about the rich insights that are at our fingertips. But in the last... I'd say several months, I've learned that there is a part of the equation that is actually far more important and powerful than the think part, and that's feel. And I want to share this feel model with you because I believe in it, and I think <laughs> that every modern communicator has to feel first, and I'll explain why after I go through the model. So feel means F, what do you fear? Or what, are, what do the folks who you're trying to reach fear? And if you can step out of your comfort zone and to understand this, you're going to go a long way. E stands for empathy. So it's not just understanding a situation. Walking in somebody's shoes, peeling the layers of the onion to get at their true heart and what they care about, not what you see out there. That's not always authentic. We know this. Look at social media. What's on the surface is not necessarily what's going on with a person or any group. The second E, of course, is ethics. Our communication has to be ethical, and this is where every communicator needs to step back. There is a checklist. <laughs> Are you being accurate, truthful, objective is your communications fair, not just to your brand, but fair to all parties involved in the communication? Are you being open and transparent? Long list. And in an age of social conversations, I don't think that ethics is checked as much as people are quick to tweet or post or share on social media. And the last part of the feel model is L. That's do you love the mission? Do you love what you're doing? Do you believe in it so much? Your passion is so high that other people feel this and resonate to what you're saying. It matters if you care and you believe in something. Feeling's really important when it comes to younger generations. And I don't want to preach to the choir, but you know millennials and Gen Z um, are a group that care deeply about causes. This is also, millennials I'm going to focus on for a second, they are a group that uh, feel a sense, a need for perfection. There are studies saying that millennials feel very pressured, that uh, status, performance, image equates to their value. And um, this is something that as communicators we have to watch because what you always see on the surface may not be what's going on. And there are statistics about millennials. The American Psychological Association has stated that millennials face in record numbers, more depression, anxiety, and suicide. 
And if you step back for a moment, you might not think that this would affect you, would matter. Um, why is this important? Well, it's important to understand this group and to feel before we communicate. Suicide is something that you might not think would come close to your world. And that's exactly what I thought several months ago. But it is very real. And as somebody who has experienced that tragedy in our family, I want to say that feeling is the first step. Feel plus think equals the ability to get ahead with your communication and to resonate and to be able to do all of the things that you need and how you're helping and how you can get others to be on board and for your stories to actually resonate. There's a big part of the model that is missing. So you can't just think before you communicate. It's feel, then think, and you will get ahead. So I hope you step back to make sure that you're covering all of your bases so that you can be successful in your communications, you can make a difference, and you can really connect and engage with people the way that it's going to be meaningful and there's value for everyone involved. Thank you.